Big three man ult! Got this. I'm just gonna queue him. I'm just gonna walk in and queue him. Come on! Comet! Yes, baby. Okay, this guy is dead. Easy peasy. This is how you pop right off. Wow. Okay. Bringing in another spicy Malphite mid gameplay. Check out the team comp while we walk to lane. I think we're gonna have a pretty good time this this game actually. We're against a I think it's gonna be Shen top and probably the Diana mid. We're against Diana mid. It honestly doesn't matter. I, I don't care about anything lane wise until level six really. If I get some poke off or we get a gank, happy days. If not, we're just gonna cruise around the map with level six and try and uh, bomb some people out. So Picking up the Q level 1, running Comet, just for a little bit of extra poke in lane to be relevant. And our team squad's actually very kind of... Very engagey, I like it a lot. This, this is a bad idea. Nobody's coming in with me, don't want to throw any W's or Q's at them, I guess. Just, I mean, if... Where did she flash to? I don't really want to waste another 70 mana on useless poke out here. That's not going to matter, but I guess we'll hang out here and see if we can pick up this red buff with them. Got it. Yeah, they got it. I'm okay for Diana to push, I just don't want her to... Well, actually, this is a really bad play by her. This is perfect for us. Gonna push it in nice, gonna be nice and safe for us. Just get to level 6 without any worries of a gank. Yes. Comet's up, so we'll throw that at her. Just make sure when you guys are throwing your Q in lane, you don't over spam and you don't accidentally hit a minion. That's the worst. I do it all the time. You accidentally hit a minion with the Q and you waste 70 mana and it doesn't even proc your comet or give you some poke. So just be careful for that. Dan is missing. I don't know where she's gone to. Pick up the E second. Max that out second behind the Q as well. And it should be nice and quiet for a little bit anyway. We'll see if Mundo cruises through mid. Comet's up, so I'm playing a little bit further up just to get some poke off on her. She could be using her W to block out some of that damage, which would be annoying, because I'm pretty sure she has more mana than me, and the W is a little bit easier for her to spam than my Q. But in any case, we're just going to pick up as many last hits. We'll soak up this damage. It should be fine. We got a Corrupting Pot start, so it'll be okay. And just trying to chill. Yeah, there you go. Now she used a W. That's good for her. Pick up this cannon. Start one of our procs here. Chilling, 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 guys. Just relax. You're playing Malphite mid. You're playing for a power spike at level 6. You're playing to be annoying. See how she's running because she doesn't want to take my Q poke? But unfortunately, usually no one knows how to space properly, and if you do a little sidestep back and back in, they'll walk right back into it, just like I did to her Q, but I was trying to explain my move there. Okay, so this is the kind of situation where you might have to do something other than hang out and farm. You got the lane pretty much pushed, and your enemy jungler is really far up there. Can't do too much now. Yeah, I mean, he's pinging me, but that's what happens, dude. You're invaded. She can get there faster. I started to move as soon as I could. She's not using her W there. She should really be using her W to block that out. I think I'm okay even if she engages on me here. Just waiting for that W to go down. It sucks that she has the double buffs now, so she's going to run this lane even harder for a bit more, but I can't. It doesn't really matter. I'm not too fussed about it. Just hanging out to level 6. Our comp in terms of dive ability with a Volley Bear, Mundo, me, and Rel. Oh, very diveable. I'm not even stepping up to Arasa right now because there's no point. She's going to heal it back up with the red buff. So I don't even want to waste my mana. It's not like I'm going to all in or her or gank's coming. If Mundo was like right here, I'd maybe try and engage and slow her down with the Q. But literally missing nothing right now. So there's no point in wasting the mana. Okay, now Mundo looks like he's coming up. Okay, now I've got a Q just to slow her down. Yeah, I can't help, dude. You need to run back. This Mundo's going to ping me again. But, like, this is basic stuff, right? You don't have priority mid. Do not invade. It's very, very simple, guys. Just 
gonna try and pick up as much XP here. And then this is probably gonna be a back for us here. Oh man. If I have TP, I could TP back in. I can stay for a little bit longer. I'm half health and half mana, so it should be okay for a little bit longer. It's gonna freeze here for a bit more in a safe spot anyway. I need to be careful from that though, because if she ease in on me, I might be able to one-shot me. Okay. We'll get out of here. That's enough for me. I can TP back into this. An ally has been slain. Normally you want to build into your sunfire. Uh first. Oh, gotta come into this. Okay, perfect. Pick up the cannon just in time. One more shot from that ought to do it. Okay, now that she has no double buffs anymore, we can start to do some Q poke again and get her ready for our level six all in. She's probably looking to back, which is why I want to start to push this a little bit more now. Maybe I can shove this in and look to roll with my level six. It's my main play right now. Who wants a piece? I'm gonna try and follow my Mundo here. Because now I have Pryo in mid. I think I saw Kazix walking around here. She's gonna shove this again, eh? I wish Mundo would come mid! This should be nice and free. Is she gonna go in on me? No, she's not. Just waiting to see if she's gonna turn on me. Bot's probably a good prime target for our ult. Shen is uh, a little bit tankier, and if we can impact these two, and Varus doesn't really have an escape, should be nice. So I'm going to concentrate on pushing this in right now again. I wish our jungler was near the dragon. But he's not. And then I'm going to start to head down for this. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Let me just spam my R that I'm coming. Uh, let's make it work. Let's make the dream happen. These guys are probably not gonna step up because of the farm. Oh, they did. Nice. Ah, unfortunate. It was a good play by them. They actually moved up, so I respect that. Ooh, this could be juicy. This could be juicy. This could be juicy. Oh, this is juicy. It's very juicy. They did not have that ward there, so that worked out. Perfectly, perfectly. Okay, I gotta run back to mid really, really quick now because she's taking plates and I don't want Diana to take too many plates. Risky move to go down there and uh, set our bot lane ahead using the alt and losing some plates, but uh, it is what it is. Diana's gonna do this every time I roam, unfortunately. I did the best I could pushing there. And, you know, Dragon is up and we gotta kill bot lane, but our jungler is a bit of a clown. So, it is what it is. He's a uh, top lane for some reason, even though should be mid or bot side for dragon and kills. Gonna try. Oh no, where is that arrow going? Why? Why? I have no ult. I can't do anything to her. Why'd you throw that there? I don't know. Mundo's still not coming mid. Guy queued up to AFK farm. Gonna pull it out here so it freezes a bit. Nah, and it didn't. <laughs> Maybe we'll get that last one frozen out there. Not bad. Okay, 38 more seconds, and then we can rush bot again. So at least uh, maybe that helped get our bot lane ahead. Gonna try and shove this pretty quick here. Mundo seems to be prioritizing the Rift Herald above the drag. I'm okay for either or. Oh, look at this. Look what we found here. Be careful, she might follow me that way. Yeah, she was ready to go. Not looking for an all in here. I just want to kind of maybe prolong this if I can. Actually, he's level 5. This guy's very killable here. No, 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 no. Six seconds, six seconds, six seconds. Dead for that. Let me see if I can give me enough move speed to get by. Run, Malphite! 
Oh my gosh, she's tilted. She's so tilted. She's so tilted, man. Sweet, it worked. So using that Q to make sure you have enough move speed to run away, that's uh, that's really good. Good way to use it. She's going to get a bunch of plates here. Can he stop that, please, so we don't lose first turret, even though you got rift? Can you stop that, please? Your team has destroyed oh my god, Volley got it. Where is she going? Yeah, I'm coming, but like... Just outplayed him by walking up instead of down. <laughs> Volley Bear doesn't see it. No, what are you talking about, man? You guys are a bit asleep. Anyway, he should be... It doesn't matter, man. Let her run wherever you want. Let's get Dragon. Like, why are you chasing her? What is killing her going to do? You can rift mid with me anyway. Oh I don't have all the he's dead before I can get there. Oh, the decision making from this Mundo is very questionable. At least he drew out the Shenar, that's fine. Uh, I would assume I'm going to have some attention mid here. That's still hit me. Is she going to jump in? Is she going to jump? I know she wants to. Mundo doesn't walk towards this dragon this time? I don't know what this game is. Okay. Not even going to start that scuttle because I'd rather just push this in for now and let him go for the scuttle and kind of coax him into coming down there. But I have ult again. We're running uh, in the rune set here, we're running ultimate hunter just to make sure we have our ult up as fast as possible. Oh yeah, this is a big play here, I like this. You know we can basically one shot that 0 and 4 Kazakhs. Right here boys, go 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 go. Bait it, bait it out, bait it out, bait it out. Bait it out. Nice man, this rel actually buys speed for it's good for him. I think we can dive under tower to be honest with you. Just see who comes down to help us. Big three man ult! Got this. I'm just gonna queue him. I'm just gonna walk in and queue him. Come on! Comet! Yes, baby. Okay, this guy is dead. Easy peasy. This is how you pop right off. I'm just greeting for a couple of these. Well, mid's frozen anyway. I'm gonna head back up here now. And then we'll push this in, back and by. Diane is going to be dead for a little bit longer. So that's going to be really, really nice. Is Malphite, like, mid-main worthy? Is this Because, like, I'm even against AP here, and we're 4-0, and oh, just from the roams and the alts, right? Like, technically, I even excel against AD champs, like AD Assassins or something. Oh, stole that, too. Okay, I'm going to let him take this. I don't care. You can take the plate solo, dude. I don't even care. I just want to recall. Spend this money and come back to the drag. Don't die. Don't die there. What are you doing? Don't ping me, man. You friggin' sit there and int for what? Don't ping me. Oh, what the, what the F? Did you not see me? I should type this guy, but it's not good for my heart to just tilt with these guys and try and explain to people who can't think what they should be doing. It's not worth typing, guys. So a big trap by ride to type. I'll have all the time for this fight, though. This would be nice. Going for the Kazakhs. Going for it. Never mind. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the Ash. I'm going to wait for the Ash, and then we're going to go. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. That's all you, Ash. There we go. I got a kill off that. I got Ash two kills off that. It sucks that we got shut down, but had to ult there. I can't let them just walk away for free there. It's kind of like you're going to have to sacrifice yourself for three kills. Overall, it's good for the team, especially if it puts it on an Ash. I trust her. This game, I trust her. She's, you know, before that she was 3-0, now she's 5-0, which is good. This guy I don't trust. Like, as soon as you see a guy in for a turret like that, that doesn't even matter. He's already got first turret. That's it. Write that guy off. He's a write-off. Just don't even play around that guy. Just do whatever else you got to do. Because um, it's not worth dying for that dude. But uh, for a 5-0 Ash now, like, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll trade for that.
Okay, we're building into this item next, the Force of Nature. Uh, generally, you'd probably go Thorn Mail or Dead Man's Plate, especially if you're against an AD heavy team. We are kind of against like this and this is AD, Nami's AP, she's AP, Shen is just like health damage, I guess you could say. So, I don't know. We're just going to kind of hybrid defense ourselves here. I have TP and ult, so this could be a big play here. I'm going to come in, I'm going to come in and help these guys out. Nice TP, dude. She's got that. We clean that up nice. That's how you do it. So that's why I would run TP on on Malphite still mid. You could run Ignite if you really want it to be cheeky. But generally, I just feel like the whole reason you're playing this guy is for... Oh, why am I taking three tower shots? The whole reason you're playing... Like, I was here and I took a tower shot. Come on, Riot. The whole reason you're playing this guy is to impact team fights, right? And have a big impact by CC, knocking a bunch of people up, soaking a bunch of damage. So, I, I don't know, I mean, to me it's just to teleport's a little bit better of a, a playmaking ability. You want to make some big plays like that one that we just did there. Right now, Ash is 9 and nine and 0. And who knows how that would have played out if we didn't uh, TP in there. What's sickening is though my alt is now on a less than 60 second cooldown. I have this more than every single minute. This is going to be bad news for these guys. Okay, okay, okay. Can we buy a nice big chunk here? Ooh, we can. We can buy a few things. This is going to be nice. Let's go purchase. Ash is covering mid anyway, so that's perfect. What is that sound that Malphite makes? <laughs> so when you're playing Malphite mid, in terms of like when you get to the mid game here, which lane you should be pushing, if your TP is up, you can basically go anywhere, which is fine. My TP is not up, and my Ash is super fed, and basically our solid win condition. So I was going to say, you want to run with your Ash so that she doesn't die like that. But, of course, she didn't wait for me. She thought she was strong enough to go on 1v4, which you're not as an Ash. And she died, but uh, I was going to try and hang around her and just make sure she didn't die because with me and her, we should probably be able to 2v5. I can soak up everything, then she can just stand back and auto-attack it and follow up my ult with her stun. Um, but, yeah, we're not in challenger gameplay here. Right? What the hell? Well, I mean... I was CC chained by a lot of things there. Three different alts. Uh, was it worth for them? Probably. Get a tower, get a kill. Probably a good play. Uh, I didn't think it was going to happen based on what I've seen in the rest of this game. I didn't think anybody in this game was good enough to actually chain everything up like that. So she just inted again. Did she? Wow, she's kiting well. Good for her, man. Good for her. I wish we could stay alive at the same time together and do that collectively so we can just win, though. Not bad. I'm as fast as I can. Look at that. We're live and our ult's up again in 15 seconds. Dragon's up in 17. Match made in heaven. Let's head over. Who is the prime target for ults? Probably still their ADC. That's kind of who you want to focus your ults on. Aggressively, you want to ult the carries or anybody who's going to deal the most damage. Defensively, you want to try and ult someone who's trying to assassinate your ADC. So like if they had Kha'Zix who was fed, I would try and make sure I save my ult and my Q for the Kha'Zix in case it jumped in on, on our Ash. If you can get that stun off, I'll follow up, dude. Take us over with you! Give me the kill. Stop stealing my crap, man. Okay. Could push this out here. I'd rather follow and again stick to the game plan of hanging out with the Ash, making sure she can just stay safe. Look at that. See? See how my Q made this guy stay alive there? He would have died without my Q. Without me meat shielding some of this damage in front of him. Same thing for the Ash, just hang out with the Ash, make sure she's safe. She has me and Rel keeping her safe, which is pretty good. I don't know about that, dude. I am now taking 
turret shots, which I don't like. How is a turret still hitting me over here? But looking at the the KDA guys, like we're 727. Seven. We've done nothing really that special this game. I haven't outplayed Diana in the mid lane. So very simple way to to kind of play and win. I wish we would just kill the turret. See here, right? We're just trying to keep the Ash able to do her damage. I can't believe the turret's still up. This this would have went very, very different if the turret was up. She's staying alive, man. She's got enough. She's not even moving anymore. <laughs> She's not even kiting. <laughs> She's just sitting there. <laughs> Pretty sure she was even right clicking after she just clicked the one champion. Oh gosh. GG, man. GG. But, uh, you know, the ult there, again, we saved it to kind of let Ash keep popping off. We didn't have to ult there. I mean, we got another couple assists off of it. It wasn't like we were going for kills specifically. That was more defensively stop these guys from charging onto our Ash. And it worked. I mean, they should be able to just polish off the game or they're going to CC or FF now. So, uh, In terms of items, I mean, we won't even get to a full build this game, but we're going to start building towards the Thornmail next. So a very good armor item. If you were against a really heavy crit team that was all building crit, like usually the Varus doesn't build crit, he's even building AP this game. Uh, so our Force of Nature is going to be even better. But if you were against a like really heavy crit team like Trindamir and then Yasuo mid and um, I don't know, another crit bot laner, Sivir or something like that, you would uh, you want to build the Rangling Zolman instead of the Thornman. Uh, we have ult again, so if anybody comes to stop this Baron, we're going to defensively use the ult just to keep them away, especially if this is low. Here they come. So I'm going to start walking towards them to stop them. Look who's hanging out by their lonesome down here. Inhib's down mid, so let's path bot. Who's around, who's around, who's around? Uh, nobody. Wait a second now. Come on guys, start pathing over, stop doing your jungle camps. We have a Baron buff. It could be more important to actually... She missed her ult at least. Missed his stun. This is going to be golden. Oh gosh, I missed my... <laughs> it doesn't matter though. Cue him. He's not getting out now. Man, so many kills have been stolen from me this game. Actually, like both those kills should have been mine. 7, 3, and 12 now. Okay. Alright. That's fine. What a crazy turn of events. They both missed their CCs that I missed my stun because she eat through me. Okay, let's hang out around this ash. I got my ult in another 20 seconds. Should be happy, happy days. Could pretty much dive anyone right now. I'm gonna walk up here and see if I can pull this off. Keep these guys focused on me, maybe, instead of going to stop them doing the inhib. And then we're looking for a big time alt play here. Probably an int alt play. I'm, I'm okay to int for a big alt play here to try and finish this game off with. So let's just look for it. So go on. Try and cause some havoc in the back line. We went through the support there. Anybody who's squishy, flash out of that turret range. We're good. Wrap that one up in a nice, neat little package. Man, it's so easy, Malphite mid. It's too easy. They need to do something about this champ right now. Tanks are too powerful. Malphite specifically, way too powerful. 